with a 100 meter run. All right, then we'll go into five forward folds. Katrina should be back any moment. So standing up. And over like this. All right, five forward folds, Katrina. Kind of reaching over, stretch out your hamstrings a little bit. Maybe your lower back. And then when you finish that fifth one, you're going to give me five Romanian deadlifts, or you can think of it kind of as a good morning, hinging that hip back and keeping your knees straight this time. So you should feel different between these two, right? Between that forward fold where you're falling over, right? So it's not slouching over like this. Now it's a hinge back and then back forward, right? Keep that back flat. So we get through those five, five squats and then five bootstrap squats. Five squats. And you get your feet a little wider. It's not like you're squatting to catch, okay? It's a little different. So then your hips go back just a little bit and you go down. Okay, stay on your heels. Stay on your heels, there you go. Go back up. There you see, that's it, that's it. All right, now bootstrap squat. Grab our toes. All right, the next up's gonna be five plank shoulder taps. Remember that's in the plank, just alternating five here, and then five Superman. Five. You said, to Superman? Five plank shoulder taps, like in a push up position or a plank, and then you're gonna be five. Yes. Okay. So, when you shoulder taps, you get like you're gonna start a push up. And then watch. And then off on another run. We're gonna do three rounds. That's good. Now lay down. Bring your hands and your feet up. There you go. Five times. This is not so easy. We're back on another run. We're we doing four. Yeah, That's 100 meter run. Then into those forward fold, five forward fold, five RDLs. All right, back to those five forward folds, five RDLs. Uh, 
uh, the ones where we kind of sit and hit you back. Flat back. That's the beginning of the, the kettlebell swing, Caleb. We were talking about last week. That hinge going back, those hips going back is the beginning of the kettlebell swing. I say start a kettlebell swing, the hips go back. But, but keep, keep your back flat, right? So yes. Pretend like there's a, something right there and you're trying to pinch it, right? Now do it. There you go. Don't look down. Don't look down. Keep looking straight ahead. Now do it. There you go. That's it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Gonna look somewhere else now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just don't want to hunch your shoulders down. Okay. All right. Then five squats, five bootstrap squats. Five squats and five bootstrap squats. On your heels. That's how you keep your balance, right? There you go. Oh. See how much balance you want? Kind of bend over a little bit and grab them and you just went down. All right, so shoulder taps. You can see hands. And one more round. Right, let's one more. What do we do first? The forward folds. Now, all right, all right and then uh, squats. Heels on your heels. There you go. You take a look at the program, Katrina, for today, the workout. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> A lot of moving pieces today. There are. Looks like, yeah, no equipment the first. Right, yeah, just the first one, you'll just need a jump rope. Let's do a little bit of mobility. So I want you to give me 10 couch stretch pulses for about five seconds. So you can be in that lunge and just pull up that back foot Right, so I'll be in a lunge, I'll just be pulling that foot back up to, to my butt, or you can actually put it on something. Like if you have a bench or something like that. But just kind of hold it for five seconds, then relax it, hold it again five seconds. <laughs> can you hear me? No, I can't. Okay. Um, for that first one, we're doing 100 meter run. You'll do seven minute AMRAP. 100 meter run, two inchworm push ups, two burpees. Take off on another run. They're doing three inchworm push ups, three burpees. 100 meter run, four, right? So you're adding one rep every time. During that seven minutes, I want you to go on like 70% effort. 
Then you get to that two minute sprint and that's when I want you going hard. And that two minute sprint, you're gonna do your 20 double unders or 40 singles. Or Caleb, you get to work on just doing kind of a bunny hop. And then you do five Supermans. Then back to those double unders, then Supermans. Back to those double unders, Supermans for two minutes. Then you get three minutes of rest. All right, so I'll walk you through the rest of it. But just remember, after each one of these rounds, you're getting three minutes of rest. So you don't really, you'll have time to set up your next station. All right, give me 10 mountain climbers now. So those mountain climbers, think about kind of that Spider-Man lunge, where I want you holding for about five seconds. So driving that heel really far forward up to your palms. Hold it for five seconds. Go ahead and switch. Watch this. Switch. Kind of stretch down a little bit. Switch. How long are we doing this? You're just doing 10 total. Oh. Katrina's okay. almost done. Or I guess Katrina's done, so you're probably done. We're good. Okay. On the second element, I want to practice this one. All right, so we'll go through that first one I just talked about. You rest three minutes, then you do seven minute AMRAP of 10 dumbbell renegade rows. All right, so remember on that renegade row, if you have one, We'll be in that push-up position and I can just row five times with the one and then I can roll it to my other hand and roll five times. If you guys have a set, you can alternate. You can do one and one, but go ahead and give me three rows per arm. It should be something that you could go unbroken for those seven minutes. Push up, okay. Do you do it right up there? Three. Three. Then try and keep those hips a little further down, Caleb. Yeah. Try and push. There you go. Keep the legs there. Okay. You were like this. You're like this with your foot up in the air. You would be like that. There you go. All right. Now do it. All right. So the next thing we'll do is three side lunges. So on that side lunge, I want you to pick that dumbbell up in your right hand and get ready for a caustic lunge. So if I'm just holding that dumbbell just on my right side and you're holding one, I'm going to send that left leg out into that side lunge. So if I'm starting here. I can deal with this. So I'm here on my right side, then I'll step the left leg out, go into that lunge, and come back, right? So it's the opposite leg that'll be moving. Good. And you can let it hang or you can kind of keep it right at your hip, whatever's more comfortable. Are we switching? Uh, it's going to be three per side. So however you want to do it, you, want, you can. That looked like a very efficient way to move through them, Dave, but you do I need to go below parallel. Okay. So, we're keeping it in front. Yeah, so you could do it like that, or you like you're saying, you're switching hands and kind of rocking back and forth like you do a caustic lunge, whichever one you want to do. I'm okay with okay. lunging either way. So you do 10 of those total. Okay, and then you're gonna do five squat jumps. So give me uh, three squat jumps. Warm those legs a little bit. So you do a squat and then jump up in the air, right? So squat. Rena, are you gonna be doing uh, wall walls? <laughs> I can. <laughs> or you do a thruster. You can do a thruster too. Yeah. Yeah. No, I have one. Um, it's a 10 foot target. 
but so the next section so you'll finish that seven minutes this next session you do two minutes of either a thruster or a wall ball so i want to see five of those it can be a med ball thruster it could be a wall ball depending on if you want to move all that stuff out of the way katrina all that baseball stuff yeah I'm going to grab the sides and I'm going to put it over my head. Oh, you don't have to do the clean, Dave. You're doing a cluster, Dave. You can just hold the front. Oh, right. just thrust? Yeah, just a thrust, okay. not a cluster. So, you know what I did. Like this, squat with it and push it over here. <laughs> So squat and stand up and press it up. Bring it back down. Okay, before you come back down, you want to bring it back right here. Then squat again. Okay? okay. Right, Patrick, to... it's, uh, it's taller. <laughs> but I'll try it. That's what it feels. Or you can right. do the dumbbells. I'll use the ball. Okay. So next up, I want you to give me five med ball sit ups. All right, so if you're, you can, this can be scaled to regular sit-ups too, but on those med ball sit-ups, it's going to touch over your head. You're going to sit up and then touch your toes or bring the ball all the way up to where your toes are. It's okay. So I'm holding it right. I bring it. Touch. Touch my feet. Or you can just do normal sit-ups. Yeah, I'll do normal sit-ups. Okay. Put your feet together, like I was doing. Yeah. Just do shit like that, okay? Now do it. Your hands go behind your head. No, no. Touch the floor, and now come back up. Touch the toes. Now go back down, touch the floor. There you go. That's it. All right. we'll, we'll see you later. This is in the second part, okay? All right, then for the third part, let's just go ahead and make sure we've got the equipment we're going to be doing for that. It'll be 10 kettlebell deadlift high pulls. So you can use that same dumbbell if you want to use a dumbbell for that high pull, or you can grab a kettlebell and we're going to do a high pull. Now remember, a lot of times we get this wrong and that we just lift it from the ground I want that chest to stay up, right? So I'm gonna be down in that squat. I'm squeezing my glutes first, and then I'm gonna be pulling. If I've got a dead uh, dumbbell, I can actually do this with one hand first, do five here, and then five, or I can grab just the head of it, and I can do the head of the dumbbell. I'm doing it with both hands. So go ahead and give me a few of those. I wanna see that. It's a glute squeeze, and then the pull. Move the ball out of the way. Grab one of your dumbbells. I'm going to be like this. We're going to get your chest up, right? Mm -hmm. Butt down. And then, Katrina, you can give me um, four Russian twists. Yeah. Wait, how many times do we have to do this in the now? You'll do 10 of these in the workout. Ten at a time. Ten at a time. Put the run in between. No, no, no. Well, run in the beginning. I will, 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 will walk to do it as we're doing it. So next is Russian twists. That's where you sit down. And then uh, next up, Katrina, I want to see just a few of those side plank dips. So you'll be in that side plank with your arm on the ground and think of your hip touching the ground and then coming back up, right? Yeah. So kind of like when we get really tired and we relax and then we have to go right back into a plank. So two times is one, right? So we go one, one, two, two, three. Okay. Okay. We'll do two of those as well. It's just you have to touch the both sides for it to count as one. Okay. And then while you guys are down there, do those side planks. Just a couple of side planks. You can move that lead leg, the top leg, the closer it gets to your hip, the easier it's going to be. 
So it can be set, which would be the hardest. You can bring that lead leg a little bit off, which would make it easier. You can bring it all the way up to your hips, and that's going to be the easiest when we're pushing against the ground. What's that? So, Bree, we do 10 of those per side, so 20 total. Correct. Okay. And then you'll finish off that one with 10 kettlebell swings and five push ups. That'll be that two minute M wrap there. So, what I can do is I can call it out. I'd only worry about three or one set of these at a time. You should have an idea of kind of using that equipment that you just use for all these different elements, right? We're only going to worry about that first nine minutes to start. I'll talk to you during the other three minutes. And then Caleb, on those uh, kettlebell swings. Uh, I'm have them do front squats. Yeah, let's do, I was thinking about a goblet squat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, watch this. Instead of, in the last part, when I start doing kettlebell swings, you're gonna do goblet squats. Where you hold it like this, and then you do your squat. Okay, oh, yeah. remember you did this last time. Yeah, and you got my hips really small. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. So for this, this first element, all you're going to need is you'll need to get out that jump rope and be ready to go with that jump rope after the first seven minutes. Remember, 100 meter run, two intro push ups, two burpees, adding one rep around, and then you'll go into the 20 double unders or the 40 singles and five supermans. So I'll call all that out. If you guys want, you can put it on. Uh, mute and crank some music. But we've got kind of like 36 minutes of work, so we'll get going pretty quick here. All right, move all this stuff out of the way. We'll use those later. You're a So listen, you're going to be working out up in this front spot, okay? Okay. I'm working out back here. Penguin taps, or you can just do hops. Don't worry about the penguin tap part. Just hop. Kind of like you're jumping work, okay? okay? You're going to do that 40 times. So, but before we get to that, this first part, we're going to do over and over again 100 meter run plus two inch worm push ups. That's where you go like this. Remember, we did kind of that forward fold? And then you walk your hands out, do a push up, walk them back. That's one, two. Okay? I can see the why they call it. Yep. And then, then you do two burpees. So we do a 100 meter run, two inch horn push ups, two burpees. And we do another 100 meter run, three inch horn push ups, three burpees, another run, four. But this only lasts for seven minutes, okay? Oh, okay good. And at the end of seven minutes, we do, you'll do your 40 hops and five supermans over and over again, just for two minutes. Okay. We're good, you can kind of do it with me, okay? All right. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. 10 seconds count. I'll call it out as you guys are doing this work. We'll start with that 100 meter run. 100 meters to start. Three, two, one, let's go, 100 meters.
right. Two inch worm push ups. Two inch worm push ups. Good work. You guys are 45 seconds in. I want you moving fast from those inchworm push ups into your two burpees. You can drop from the top of that inchworm straight into that first burpee and take off on another run. <laughs> Probably all three inch worms this time. Doing three, you got your closing on two minutes. Three inch. Nice job, Katrina. Three inch worm push ups. Three burpees. Take off again. How much time? You got plenty of time. Two and a half minutes in. You got it. Nice job, Katrina. Y'all you know, just over three minutes. So you're doing four this time. Four inchworm push-ups. Job walking those hands out. Get that push-up, walking them back in. Closing in three and a half minutes. That halfway point. Nice, Katrina. More inchworm push-ups this time. Boys, we're going to give you those four burpees. All right, guys, we're at four minutes. Four minutes in, three minutes left before we switch. All right, five now, y'all move fast. I want you to finish this and the run. You got two minutes. Finish this and the run. Doing five this time. Five inch worm push-ups. Nice, Katrina, five inch worm push-ups. Push the pace here. You got about a minute and 45 seconds left before we switch. Five inchworm push ups, five burpees, take off on that run. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good work, y'all. About a minute 10 left. Nice, Katrina. Finish this up. Get off on that run. Got one minute left. Good work, y'all. 30 seconds now. Give me six, six inch worm push ups. 30 seconds before we get to that jump rope. Twenty seconds. Good work. Keep working. Almost time for that 20 double unders. You got 10 more seconds. Five seconds, three, two, one, and double unders. 20 double unders, five supermans. You got two minutes here. I want you moving fast through this element. Hops, 40 hops. <laughs> Good work, y'all. Moving quick, moving quick. This is your sprint. You got three minutes of rest coming up. Ninety seconds now. Five Supermans. Five Supermans, you try it. Good work, Katrina. Right back to that jump rope. Five Supermans. Five Supermans. Yeah. Yeah. Right, back to that jump rope. You got 45 seconds. Try and make it count. Let's go. Last 30 seconds. Here you go, Katrina. See if we get these double unders done. You got 20 seconds now. Good work, y'all. Good work. Good work. Finish it up quick. 10 more seconds. Five, three, one, and rest. You got three minutes of rest. Okay. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna catch your breath and you're gonna set up for the next station. You need those dumbbells for your renegade rows. 10 renegade rows, 10 single dumbbell side lunge total, and five squat jumps. Then we'll be moving into those med ball thrusters and sit ups. Ten. Ten. 10 rows, 10 side lunges, five squat jumps, then 10 thrusters, five sit ups. Just under two minutes more rest. All right, got 90 seconds more rest. The 10 rows, 10 
Side lunges, five squat jumps. At the next bar, we're going to be doing 10 of the renegade roses. You're going to push up with hands on the weights. One, two, three, four, right? The 10 of those lunges where you just take one, right? One, two, three, right? And then 10 jump squats. Five squat jumps. Five, five squat jumps. So 10 rows, 10 lunges, five squat jumps. Okay? And you do that over. 30 seconds left of reps. Last 30 seconds. Just for clarification, that's 10 each side? 10 total rows, 10 total lunges. Okay. All right, here we go. We got 10 seconds. Start with those 10 rows. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. 10 total rows. 10 rows. Good, 10 rows into those 10 side lunges. Work on getting as deep as you can, standing up all the way. Try to keep the ankle on the ground. Good job, 10 side lunges, then five squat jumps. Good work, good work. Finish up that, that first round, get in that second round. You're looking at one minute in now, one minute. Nice job, back in those rows and those side lunges. Nice job, y'all. Keep on going, keep on going. Try and find that 70% effort. Keep grinding for seven minutes here. You guys are closing in on that second minute. There you go. Good work. Good work. Keep going with those side lunges. Good. Getting that 10 total and moving back to those squat jumps. Nice job. When you get back to that row, find that plank. Try and separate those shoulders. Pull those shoulder blades apart. Hip stay down. Keep that elbow close to your side, close to your ribs as you pull up. That's three minutes in. Good job, not y'all. It's three and a half minutes. You guys are halfway through the seven minutes. Doing good, Kaylee, doing good. Couple deep breaths, get back to work.
Just try and keep on moving a little bit. There you go, four minutes down. Over halfway now. Nice, getting after those squat jumps. We get a little lower on that side lunge, Dave. Great job, y'all. Great job. Keep chipping away at this work. You're almost there. You got two minutes left before we're changing it up. See if you can fight for two more rounds. Nice job, nice job. Well, let's go. Good job on those rows, Dave. You got 90 seconds left, 90 seconds. Try and get that plank, Caleb, hips going down. More of a push up, there you go. Good work, y'all. You're almost there. Almost there. Closing on the last minute. One minute left before we're switching it up again. Nice job. You got 30 seconds now, 30 seconds before we're switching, before you're going to those 10 thrusters or wall balls. Almost there, you got 15 more seconds of work here. We're gonna grab a few more reps. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and thrusters. You're doing 10 thrusters now. 10 thrusters, five sit-ups, five med ball sit-ups, or 10 wall balls. A little lower, Dave. This practice is getting low. There it is. Yes. There you go, that's 30 seconds down. 30 seconds down already. 10 thrusters, five sit-ups. Five med ball sit-ups if you got it. Nice job, Dave. That's one minute in. See if you can finish the second round. Let's go. Nice job, Katrina. There you go, Caleb, right in those thrusters. Nice, Katrina, right back to those wall balls. Sorry. <laughs> Doing a good job. Three more seconds. You guys are almost there. You got rest coming in just a little bit. Keep on going. Keep on moving. 20 more seconds. Nice 
job, y'all. Nice job. 10 more seconds. Grab a few more reps. Five more seconds. Two more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Three minutes of rest. Interesting. Ah. All right, so on this next element, you're doing those deadlift high poles, 10 deadlift high poles. You can do with both hands on the dumbbell or kettlebell, do 10, or you can do five with one arm, five with the other. You're gonna be 10 Russian twists and 10 side plank dips per side this time. And if you got that kettlebell, you can get that kettlebell close to you because you'll be doing 10 kettlebell swings in the sprint and five push ups. You got about two minutes of rest left. Good job, buddy. All right, so this one, we're gonna start off with 10 of those high pulls with your with your dumbbell, right? Then 10 Russian twists, that's when you're sitting down and you get on each side, right? Actually, I'm gonna keep one out for the twists. And then, Five, oh no, 10 kettle, 10 kettle, the high pulls, 10 twists, and then 10 of those side planks where you dip your hips down and touch the mat, right? All right, you got one minute now, one minute. Just when well, you're doing your stuff, just face me and you can watch me, okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> High pulls, Russian twists. Remember the Russian twists can be harder by pulling your feet up off the ground or you can gently have your heels just touching the ground. Then you're gonna be 10 side plank dips per side. You got 30 seconds. Starting with those high pulls. Remember it's a glute squeeze and then arms. Don't pull early with those arms. Squeeze your glutes first, then pull with the arm. You got 15 seconds. A few more deep breaths. You got nine minutes of work and be all done for the day. This is the last thing. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go this way and go to the channel. Three, two, one, let's go. 10 kettlebell deadlift high poles. Oh, no. Um, what? Nice, right, get your 10 in and you're doing those 10 Russian twists. Nice job, 10 twists. And then 10, 10 side plank dips. Two per side. Ten per side. All right, that's one minute in. Nice job, y'all. Then going back to those kettlebell deadlift high poles once you finish these side dips.
All right, good work, y'all. That's two minutes in, two minutes in. Back to those 10 deadlift high pulls. Hinging those hips back, squeeze those glutes, then pull with the arms. Back. Nice job. Looking good, looking good. Good. Locking in that core, doing 10 Russian twists. Good work, y'all. Finish that up. You're getting back into those side plank dips. That's three minutes in. All right, let's get 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Up this round, get back to those high poles. Y'all are doing good. Just keep on moving here. You're over halfway. Come on. You got three minutes left. Four minutes down. Three minutes left. That's it. One more. Good job. There you go. There you go. Finish up those high poles, getting into those twists again. Finishing up this round. Right, right into those dips, those side dips. You're looking at two minutes left. Nice job, y'all. You look like 90 seconds or so left. Come on, keep on going, keep on moving. All right, Dave, let's see how far you get in this next round. Good, back to those 10 high poles. There you go, Katrina. Just start. Right. Got one minute left. Last minute before we change it up. There you go. Back on that core work. Let's get that six back. Forty-five seconds left. We've got 30 seconds before we transition to those 10 kettlebell swings and five push-ups. Twenty seconds. I right, see how many reps you, you can get here. Let's go. Try and finish up this round. You got 10 seconds left. 
five, three, two, one, and swing. You got two minutes sprint, you're gonna be all done today. Nice day, same hip hinge we were using before, squeeze those glutes to drive that kettlebell. Nice, Caleb, there you go. Up and down, 10 reps. There you go, Katrina. 10 swings, five push-ups. 90 seconds left. Do it from your knees. There you go. There you go. Nice, moving fast here, moving fast. You're coming up on that last minute. You got one minute left now. Back to those swings, 10 swings, five push-ups. Let's go fast, let's sprint, come on. Forty-five seconds. Nice job, Katrina. Good transition there to those push-ups. Thirty seconds left. <laughs> Right back into those swings. Keep that kettlebell moving. You got 15 seconds. Last 10. Five, three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. So good.